I got a new pen from pen company Bastion. Let's open it together. So recently a pen company Bastion reached out to me and asked me if I would like to review one of their pens. They are well known for their ballpoint pens, but I asked them to send me a fountain pen that they also carry because I know you guys like the fountain pens and that's what they did. So let's open it together. So in the package I received, I re I got uh, this pen in the beautiful box and also a pen sheet to protect it. Let's put it aside for a minute and let's open it together. So here it is. When I was in contact with the company, I told them that first I would like to test this pen out for a week or two before I give my honest review. So today I just want to open it out real quick and then I, after I test it out for a week or two, I will append the rest of this video to this intro to tell you what I think about the pen. So let's open it up. So it has the box with a magnetic lid. That's really cool. So as you can see, definitely would make a great gift. Nice packaging and this silver emboss. And I can see it's safely packaged with the foam. Let's put it aside. And it has another protective plastic here. And that is the pen inside. Let's take it out. Wow. Uh, wow. It is... Okay, let me gather my thoughts. <laughs> First of all, it's a solid pen. So the pen is very heavy. I'm going to put the weight of it on the screen. It is black, which is one of my favorite colors. As you can see, it's like this brush, so it's not shiny. And if you look at it, you can see it's literally like a solid piece. There is no... You literally cannot see, right, where it starts or ends. The quality of finish is amazing and also the fit of the cup because as I'm looking at it right now, I literally cannot see where the cap of the pen starts and ends. I imagine maybe somewhere here. I literally cannot feel it. All right, so definitely plus for the design because it's uh, it's very impressive especially if you like heavy pens if you like light pens and you're worried that it's gonna you know weigh your hand down you might maybe not like that but this is very impressive let me move this aside all right let me try to twist it to see where the cap is wow <laughs> all right so it untwists really easily but i think i'm twisting the part where the ink feed is no, it is the fan. Wow. <laughs> this is incredible. Okay, look at it. How cool is that? You saw, right? I saw it right on the camera. You couldn't tell where it was starting or ending. I literally couldn't see or feel it. Look at that fit. Look at it. You literally cannot tell. That is pretty impressive. All right, so and twists really easily. I don't have to force it. And this is where the pen itself is. I really like this black brushed metal. Fits really nicely in my hand. I like the size of the nib. It's not tiny, but it's not too big. It's really well balanced with the size of the pen. And I like how the pen overall, you can see it's pretty big when you don't open it but once you open it it's pretty portable which is what I love <laughs> I still cannot get over how smooth that was and how I could, couldn't tell where the top and, and uh, separated from the rest of the pen <laughs> it's pretty crazy all right let me try to twist this now to uncover where the ink feed is all right cool Okay, so it looks like it comes with a converter. So that tells me that I can probably take out a converter and put the ink cartridge in as well, which I will test out. But so far it looks like your standard converter. Yeah, so it's a twist mechanism. And I like that because whenever you get pens that come just with the ink cartridge, then you basically have to go out and buy the converter. And this one already comes with a converter 
and because it's a converter you can take it out and clean the pen really easily from my experience with other fountain pens I have yeah this is let me tell you so obviously on the camera you cannot feel how it feels to me when I screw and unscrew all the parts but everything is very smooth really well fitted and of course I just I really cannot get over the fact that when the pen is together you literally cannot tell where it separates it's a really literally like a solid piece of metal and um, obviously you can see it has a clip it's pretty firm like if you put it on something like a shirt it will not fall off it's like it doesn't bend easily so it's really solidly in place as you can see it's made out of solid metal and it's screwed in with two screws so it will never break or fall off or rattle because it's really on it the pen itself you have a little bit of rattle i think it comes from the little ball that's inside of the converter i have converters like this let me see yes it's the little spring that's inside of the converter that basically prevents the bottom of this little uh, screw on thing to get stuck to the rest of the mechanism so that's what you hear but once you're gonna have an ink obviously you won't hear that wow that's really cool <laughs> so cool I'm, I'm very impressed with the design so far again i will test it out continuously on a daily basis for a week or two to see how i like the ink flow the feel of the nib on the paper I will try it with Tomoe River paper and the regular 120 GSM paper that I have in my big notebook and see how I like it. But so far, let me tell you, really impressive design. As I mentioned, it's on a heavy part and it is obviously almost looks like a bullet. Um, and so I, I would imagine it probably will appeal mostly to guys, but you know, I love it. I think it's really cool, really neat. I like that it has a logo, but it's not really in your face. I like the packaging so far really nice giftable you know it has a magnetic enclosure you know you have your name on here you can rest it in there when you don't use it it has a little hole here to easily remove the pen from its uh, you know bed which is very smart you know those tiny touches of design really smart and of course i really appreciate that when they send it to me they also send this protective case let's open it up so then if you only use this pen and you take it with you and you don't want to carry it in your pocket, for example, I wouldn't because it is pretty heavy, then you have your little case. You can put it in there. Fully protected. It's nice and soft fabric. So really nice protective case to put it with you on the go. Then take it back out very nice i really like it so far so stand by for me testing it out for a while and then reporting to you what i think about the quality of this pen all right so i've been testing this pen for a few days now and here are my first impressions um, again i just got this pen uh, about a couple weeks ago and i've been writing with it every single day and i decided to use it on a regular paper that just comes in a regular notebook and then also on a tomorrow river paper as it more fountain pen friendly so here is what i have noticed so uh, just to give a little bit of background as i mentioned in the beginning this pen came with this carrying pouch and that's what i've been using uh, originally it came in the box but to just carry it around the house as i test it and use it i've been keeping it in this pouch it comes in and out really easily and again uh, really impressed with the quality with the craftsmanship of this pen when i showed it to my husband he could not find the line that separates the cap from the rest of the pen either and you should have seen his face he was like there is no way to open this pen <laughs> he was twirling it around until i told him yeah just grab it by the ends and twist and he was like what he was so surprised just like i was when i first opened this pen and truly you literally cannot see where it starts and where it ends so I think that is amazing um, again the pen is pretty heavy so that is something that I will mention uh, in my first impression of writing with it um, so first things first I used it with two different inks I used writer's blood from Diamine 
and also the Atramentes Aubergine ink. And the reason I use those two is I really love this ink. I think it's so moody and mysterious. And because this pen to me was like very kind of a dark and mysterious, I decided to pair them up. And I also wanted to see how this pen would do with this ink because as I mentioned in my pen reviews of a Twisby, I feel like this ink is on a drier side. Again, I'm not a, a, an expert in inks, but this is how it feels. And once again, uh, that feeling was confirmed when I use it with this pen, because with this particular ink, this pen felt really dry. So this is a fine nib. Um, I don't think it's extra fine. I want to say it's a fine nib, but it's definitely not a wet writer pen. It's very even and slow release ink pen. And again, that's how it felt to me. And with writer's blood, it felt um, dry. So I had to like push on the nib to get the ink out. It wasn't skipping or anything, but it was not flowing like I'm used to with my other pens, especially since I tend to write pretty fast. So when you write fast, you know, you want your ink to flow. That's why in my everyday life, in my regular notebooks, I kind of prefer um, you know, gel ink pens and um, things like that because the ink flows really easily. So uh, let me show you how that looked like. So I tested this pen with just a regular notebook. It's my giant notebook that I just write in whenever fancy strikes. I use it for journaling because it has bajillion pages. And when I use this pen with my notebook, which is just regular notebook paper, uh, it's a dot grid. And when I used it in here on a day one, I uh, when I start writing with it, you can see that there are no real skips, but the ink lines are not really solid because it was um, in fact uh, pretty dry to me and as I wrote it got a little bit better you know kind of like the pen was getting used to ink uh, but again as I wrote I wrote it on day one I wrote it again on day two and it still felt a bit dry to me and as I got into day three I was wondering that maybe switching the ink to the Atramentis would make a difference as it did in my other pens and that's what I did. So I ended up filling up this pen with the Atramentis Aubergine and again I don't know how they make this particular ink but it does feel very smooth when I put it in any of my pens. I have it in a Twisby, I have it in Pilot Metropolitan and now I have in this one and when I switched the ink into this pen, what a difference it was. I mean, I could feel instantaneously how smoother, how more even the writing was, and it was more enjoyable because of that. Um, so what I did is I also wrote in this notebook. So this is just a cafe note notebook, and it is made with Tomoe River paper. And um, as you can see here, the writing is very even. You can see how the lines are thinner, but they're very evenly distributed. There are no skips and the writing was very, very even. And I just basically wrote the notes that I thought of uh, this pen as I wrote with this ink. And um, so I wrote that this pen comes with a fine nib, as I mentioned, and it is great with ink like the Atramentis and on a Tomoe River paper specifically. Um, the ink flow is very good and even. The pen is very solid, very weighty. It would make an amazing gift, uh, especially for a man in your life or anyone who likes, you know, solid pens that you can really, you know, feel the heft of them, especially since it comes in this beautiful gift box and um, again of course the craftsmanship is amazing and just to surprise the person you gifted to to um, you know find where it starts and ends I mean I'm still amazed with it you know as you can see the one note that I made is because pen is heavy um, as you write uh, with it and if you really used to lighter pens you will feel a little bit of fatigue on your hand because it's heavy so just be mindful of that if uh, you use your pen for like quick notes this cap has a lot of turns to keep it in place and keep it smooth like that so just keep in mind that you will have to twist it several times and inside it looks like this which I love I think it's so gorgeous and so when you write this part of the pen is heavy so you will feel that 
you know, on um, as you as you write with it, especially if you write a lot, like journaling. If you make quick notes here and there, you'll be fine. But if you journal pages upon pages, just be mindful. And because of that, I think uh, they made it so the cap doesn't post. You cannot post it; it literally wouldn't fit. But you wouldn't want to because it is uh, just as heavy or heavier than the rest of this pen, so you wouldn't want that much weight going. Uh, on your wrist as you're writing so your cap will just stay aside here you won't be able to post but it fits in my hand wonderfully the finish here is very smooth it feels really good in your hand because there are ridges here it grips really nicely and it's not gonna slide in your hand up and down and I like that it's thinner grip uh, it feels really nice in my hand again if you like thicker grip or like you know those chunky ones maybe it won't be your thing but I think it's uh, really nice that they did that uh, as you can see nib in itself the size of it is not too big is not too small which i like and um another thing that i wanted to mention is what i think i would love in this pen even more if it came in the medium nib so just slightly uh, bigger nib size and also if uh, the nib could have been tuned to make it a wetter rider Again, I don't know what needs to be done in the nib as far as the mechanics. I'm not a maker of fountain pens, uh, but uh, I think I would personally enjoy it a little bit more if the nib was, um, you know, if the pen itself was a little bit of wetter writers because I personally do write really fast and I write a lot. And so like when it just glides, glides, glides. Uh, but if you're using it for something like signature, uh, write your checks, make quick notes. I mean, it, it's wonderful. So let's just give it a few strokes uh, while we're on camera here. So as I mentioned, with uh, the Diatramentus ink and with Tomoe Rio Paper, it writes wonderfully. Let's give it a little start. As you can see, nice, dark, even, no skipping. It glides really nicely on this paper. So yeah, definitely, if you have any Tomoe River paper-based planners, be it Hobonichi, Cafe Note, uh, Sterling Ink, any of those, it will work wonderfully for you, uh, especially with this ink, especially if you like a fine nib, because as you can notice, these kind of papers, they have a small grid when they do. It's usually a three millimeter grid, and so to write on it in the smaller letters, fine nib is great as you can see you can go really small and see still have a definition bastion pen so all in all i think it's a pretty cool pen it definitely makes a great gift the craftsmanship on this pen is impressive it will surprise the person that you gift it to just by looking at it its weight its presentation it's a beautiful pen i mean you can see it for yourself um, as far as writing capabilities i wouldn't recommend to use it on a regular paper as a lot of fountain pens they perform much better on a fountain friendly paper like tomoe river paper as you've seen uh, again i recommend it with ink like diatramentis because it does really let this pen flow it gives it a smoother more even flow uh, to remind you it is a fine nib pen so if you like pens with the finer nibs if you like pens on the drier side um, definitely try this out I personally prefer pens that are a little bit on a wetter side that are wet writers because I do write a lot and I write really fast uh, because pen is pretty hefty um, i don't know if it will make a great everyday carry but it will definitely make a great beautiful pen to sit on your desk and grab for a quick signature or a note as i mentioned to give as a gift and i'm glad the bastion reached out to me so i get to keep this beautiful pen in my collection because i definitely do not have pens that are made out of solid metal like that that are heavy like that and have that level of craftsmanship and i'm grateful for this opportunity to review it and share it with you especially if you have seen this company online and were wondering about their pens uh, as I mentioned they also have ball point pens that come with this really cool mechanism I'll leave link to everything down below I leave the link to this pen uh, to the ink so you can try these things out if you would like to Bastion were kind enough to provide me with a discount code if you want to try out any of their pens I will leave the link and code below and if you use my link I will 
will get a commission from this review to remind you I have not purchased this pen. They sent it to me for free so I can review it and share it with you. So I appreciate you being here and sharing this review with me. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. And if you like these kind of videos, please like, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. And until then, you take care. Bye.